earliest memory is spoilt by my frequent recollection of it, and now is just the memory of a memory. It is me running around what I always imagined to be the side, but now realize must have been the front of the house. In my memory, I wear a nappy and a t-shirt, and am wobbly at my running. The memory is now so faded that when I do recall it, I am no longer the child, but a distant observer who sees both the house and the child. One night, as I lay in bed, I was frightened and wanted to go to Mum. I imagined the journey to her so vividly that I was surprised to find myself still in my own bed. My brother remembers the first time he ever consciously made a decision for himself. It was a Saturday morning, and he had nothing to do, so he decided to go and play outside on the lawn. He told me it was as though something had been switched on. My father liked best to film the house from this angle, where it looks at its most modest. I am told that my sister looked up to me. I didn't like it when she would copy me. Perhaps I was afraid she would steal my compliments. One day we picked flowers. I remember wanting to have the biggest bunch and feeling myself beaten by my brother. Perhaps it was my idea to combine our bunches. I was happy to eliminate the competition between us. I remember this moment, feeling so proud of how calm the animal was in my hands, as though it was proof of some special connection I had with it. I felt incredibly betrayed when I realised it had pooed on me. I didn't like being patronised. When an adult faked enthusiasm or interest in me and assumed I wouldn't notice because I was a child, I always knew, and my own enthusiasm was always ruined by it. Not only did they not really find me interesting, they also thought me stupid enough to believe their fakeness. My mother never did this. She was always sincere with us, and only ever laughed when we were really funny. My father did it so constantly that I think we must have known it was a joke. I wanted to write a letter to myself, so that I would never forget what it was like to be a child, like so many other adults seem to have. But I never did and now I can't remember what I was going to write. Perhaps it was simply to always be sincere to children, and if you are going to be fake, to at least do it convincingly. When I was six, we left the old house. I was excited about the attention it would afford me at school. We were excited upon arrival at discovering the new house had carpet. We ran around in bare feet and danced in the light of the window. As time went by, we began to miss the old house, and on trips through Sylvan, sometimes we would take the back roads and stop to look down at it. Perhaps it was on one of these trips. We discovered that the house was gone. Only two charred brick chimneys were left standing. I have since walked the distance from new house to old, I try to place the house and the rooms between the two chimneys, but I can't seem to make my memories fit. The yard looks smaller. When I was young, I had no sense. I brought a fiddle for 18 pence, but the only tune that I could play was over the hills and very far away. So out in the morning, so out in the morning, so out in the morning, so out in the morning before the break of day. <laughs>